For today's adventure, we shall be going to Yarrowitch Nature Reserve. Before the coming of white men, Australia was inhabited by hundreds of different Aboriginal tribes. Each tribe had its own culture, language, traditions, and were the custodians of the area of land in which they dwelled. The Aboriginal group of this area were the Anawan people, but there were many other peoples as well, such as the Kamilaroi, Gambanga, Dungadi, and Narimbal people. The Aboriginals were hunter-gatherer people who lived off the land. When it got cold, they moved. When the animals left, so did they. If there wasn't enough water, they knew where to go and find it. The expertise and mastery of bushcraft allowed them not only to survive, but to truly thrive in this truly unhospitable land. The walk is an easy three kilometer meandering path that winds along the side of an open meadow through some light scrub and corridors of low growing tea tree. It is a well-defined track that is one way, so it is impossible to get lost unless you are truly talented. The path then leads onto an ancient and mysterious set of Aboriginal rock paintings that predate the arrival of white men by several hundred years. I wonder what they knew that we don't. I wonder what secrets they took to the grave. What delightful bush food treats do we ignorantly walk past every day without knowing about? I mean, if, that, if eucalyptus and tea tree oil are both Aboriginal inventions, what other bush remedies have been lost to the ages? And I wonder if they could help us today in our own current predicament. It's really something to think about as we wander through the bush, isn't it? Hmm. The cave paintings don't look like much. But the interesting thing is that they were painted several times over the course of hundreds of years. So they must have meant something. But what? Was it an initiation site for coming of age rites? Was it an ancient language used by hunters to direct to their quarry? Was it a gathering spot for the many tribes of the area? Was it used for religious ceremonies? Was it once larger but just destroyed by the passing of time and exposure to the elements? Sadly, we shall never know. You may have your own guesses, as so many have before you. I wonder what it was like when it was this site was used, or so many years ago. Hmm. Think back on the adventures you've had in your life thus far. Recall the happiness they've brought you. Maybe it was something you did when you were a kid, teen or young adult. As so many of us grow older, we wait for the perfect time to travel, or to have random adventures. We say to ourselves, not yet, I'll travel when I have enough money. I need more annual leave. I'll do it when the kids grow older or when the kids move out of home or when I retire or some other excuse. But we are living in strange times where our love of travel can become a crime with just the stroke of a pen, where our lives could be affected by some horrible outbreak or other calamity. So don't wait for your chance to pass by you by. Go out and seek your adventure. Your adventures are only limited by your imagination, so be creative and Breathe deep and seek adventure. May your adventures take you to fabulous places also. Cheers.